You know what, sometimes what you leave out of a story is even more interesting than what you leave in. That happened when we were in Oxford, Maryland, learned that the pride of that old town was one Robert Morris Jr., the financier of the American Revolution. Years ago, we used to go down to the county library to get a picture of a bird like that, but now we just use the internet. That's where I found this picture here. Now, the caption said it was a shot of the Greek god Mercury handing a bag of loot to Robert Morris, the financier of the American Revolution. Well, that's just a tiny part of a much bigger picture called the apotheosis of Washington. Now, apotheosis is a Greek word that means to make divine. In other words, this painting shows George Washington becoming a god. Now, I never knew that happened. But there it is for all to see, painted under the most famous dome in the whole country, maybe the whole world, the United States Capitol. Now, the most interesting part of this particular heaven are the folks that live in it. Now, you'd expect to see Moses and Abraham and Ezekiel and that crowd hanging around, but not a single fella from the Bible's up there. Now, Minerva, the Roman goddess of crafts and wisdom, is shown delivering an electrical generator and batteries in a printing press to Benjamin Franklin, Samuel Morris, and Robert Fulton. And Neptune, the Roman sea god, and Venus, the goddess of love, are showing helping to lay the transatlantic telegraph cable. I'll bet you they were a big help. Now, there's some other gods, but not a single prophet, apostle, or even a lower archangel in the whole four and a half thousand square feet. All I know is what I read on the internet, but you hear a lot of talk these days about the religious beliefs of our founding fathers. Now, those boys may have been as devout as saints. We'll never know. One thing's for sure, you'd never tell by looking at Capitol Dome. Charles Paparella, WBOC News. Thank you.